Hey guys, it's Eternize. Today I want to talk to you guys about a plugin that we all use, but you're probably not using it to its fullest potential. I'm talking about Voxengo Span. This plugin is probably the most known and widely used spectrum analyzer in the music industry, and I for one has been using it for many years. It has one of the best and most detailed visual displays, it has integrated metering, and it's free. And for this reason, it's been downloaded 47,000 times in the past 90 days. But here's the thing, 99% of people are using it this way. They head over to their master channel and they slap on span at the end of the chain. And that's it. And while this is fine and totally useful, I think this plugin has way more potential. So I want to show you how you can get more out of this plugin. When you open span with the default settings, this is what it looks like. It's showing you the total amount of audio picked up by the plugin, meaning it's showing you the sum of both mid and side combined. This setting is useful for measuring the total energy across the spectrum, but not so much for judging the balance between mid and side information in your track. So I'm going to show you how you can go from this to this, which is now showing the mid and side separate from each other. So first you want to head up to the top of the window to the drop down menu next to routing. Click the drop down menu and choose mid side stereo. This will enable you to switch between the mid and side channels being displayed separately. But we want them both to show at the same time. So while displaying the mid channel, we're going to go down to underlay and click side. Now we have both mid and side information in the same window. However, as you can see, the display is a bit cluttered now that we have both graphs on top of each other. So to fix this, we're going to go to the settings menu and we're going to uncheck filled display. Now the solid color is representing the side information while the narrow graph is representing the mid information. Going back to the head display, we can now change the colors of these graphs to our liking. There is a couple more settings that you can explore in the settings menu. The anti-aliasing can be used to smooth out the graph of the display. The block size can be manipulated to change the resolution of the graph. So here you can put this to a lower setting if your computer is struggling with the graphics. Putting it higher than 2000 won't really change the resolution however. Frequency low will change how low the graph will display low frequencies and the same with the high frequencies. I like to put this a little bit above 22 kHz so I can see all of the audio when working in a 44.1 kHz project. The red line is marking just above 22 kHz. Range low and range high will determine how much of the amplitude of the audio will be displayed. And under type you can choose how the graph is going to behave based on RMS and peak values. The last thing you should do is resize the window so you can have more information displayed. And by the way, you can also hide the other meters if you don't use them anyway.
So this is pretty much all you got to do to have the perfect visual display of what's going on in the mid and side channels of your music. In general I find this setup to be far superior to the default setting and as a hardstyle artist I find this to be especially useful when creating and mixing leads. Since now you can actually see, do I need more energy on the sides? Is my mid strong enough? Should I use this widener plugin on my lead or am I actually overdoing it? I also like to have this on my master in the creative process so that I create sounds with the right levels from the beginning, thus making it easier in the mixing and mastering stage. I am really blown away by the fact that nobody is using the full features of this plugin. But hey, here you are, go ahead and try this for yourself and perhaps you will make some better mixing decisions in your next tracks. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did I hope you will help me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Also let me know in the comments if you actually used this setup and what you think of it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.